Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Balham, and I'm gonna be showcasing Bodine's right here on Balham High Road. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. So, the orders are in. Yeah. It's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. I'm already disappointed. It smells funky in here. Look at that, that looks very grim. It's not being looked after. All that urine smell coming from that one urinal, one cubicle. Very grim. So we've got a hand dryer, does it work? Okay, okay, at least it works. Okay, we've got two hand dryers, no paper towels, two basins. I'm going back. Hopefully my food is ready. Times, um, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. It's the burrito with beef and rice. That's Mexican rice, that looks like jello rice. This Mexican rice looks dead. It's not great. Nah. This, this, this needs some seasoning, guys. Like, it needs some salt, it needs some pepper. It needs something. Okay, where's the salt? Where's the pepper? There's no salt and pepper. There's no salt and pepper. So it looks like it has um, two different types of cheese drizzled on top. I don't know what cheese it is, but it looks as though perhaps one is cheddar. It's got guacamole in there. Basically what you would expect in a normal burrito, Mexican burrito. All right, all right. We're talking to the burrito, see what it's saying. Wow. Wow, look at that beef. It's alright. It's alright. It's baby back ribs. It's getting messy. I'm not a fan of ribs. So what sauces are there? It's quite juicy. It just falls off the bone. That's what you want, guys. You don't want you don't want there to be too much of a resistance. You just want it to like fall off that bone. Mm. 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 On your rings. I 
I've never tasted onion rings like this before. It's almost like the batter is sweet. Mm. It's got sort of like a sweet, very, very subtle, but sweet. I quite like it. Um, it's not greasy or oily. I'm quite crispy. Mm. I really like these. Can you eat the uh, the whole? It's too big. Yeah. It's a monster. How is it? Good. You'd order again? Maybe not. But the, the meat. It's really good. Yeah, the meat the is meat really good. I think I think the winner is their pulled pork and their baby bat ribs. Yeah. Right. Bodines. On this particular visitation, I was thoroughly impressed with everything that was served on the table, especially their rack of ribs and their pulled pork. I was quite impressed with the burrito as well. It packed a punch, it was quite filling. I even had to take some to eat at home, which is not something I normally do. I didn't film the dessert that we had, the apple cobbler, and I will forever regret that because it banged. I'll give this place a four and a half out of five. The service at um, Bodine's was absolutely terrific on this visitation. Staff were very friendly, especially the way that we had who was cracking jokes, a lot of banter, and um, even though we took our sweet time, he was very, very patient. He delivered very well. Um, he was so good that we even tipped him and he really surprised us with his excellent memory because he just memorized all our orders. He didn't write a single uh, sentence down. So solid place. I'll give customer service a five out of five. Right, this space was pretty clean. Didn't get a good look uh, of the kitchen area, but the bar looked all right. Uh, the toilets were in a little bit of a state, but overall, clean space, especially the area we were sat at. So I'll give cleanliness a four out of five. Usually when you go to an American diner on a Saturday night, it's rammed, packed, elbows rubbing. That's not the case at this particular branch because, <clears throat> excuse me, because it's at a very discreet location. Um, well, not that it's discreet, it is, on, it is on the main road, but it's not in a, you know, a more prominent area of Balham. So because of that, you know, you get a lot of breathing space, no elbow rubbing, and um, yeah, the music isn't overbearingly loud, so solid space, I will give it a five out of five. Right, at the end of the night, all three of us were absolutely stuffed. I even had to take food home as takeaway, and that's something that I rarely do. At Bodine's, you get the quality and the quantity. I mean, the portions are just great, and the total of the bill came to £70. Just to recap, that's one beef burrito with a side of rice, hot dog, big hot dog by the way, with fries, uh, chicken, half a rack of ribs, and uh, it was two, two mac and cheese, soft drinks, and one apple cobbler with ice cream to share. My summation is that this place is great value, and I would give it a four out of five. I would recommend this space because it's just freaking good. Just give it a go. Just don't go to the Soho branch because I cannot be held responsible for your disappointment. So, that's the end of my review. If you like the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. If you've been to Bodine's or any other barbecue shack for that matter, let me know about your experiences in the comments below. Make sure you check out my other videos right there. I make videos every week. So, till next time, peace. Bwah!